There's a tradition in the theater that at the end of the show, after the actress has taken off her makeup and costume and walks to the stage door to meet her public, there are only four words she wants or is capable of hearing. Anything less than those four words is unkind, and anything more is pretentious. Those four words are, Darling, you were fabulous. Marnie left Minnetonka High School with dreams and aspirations, many of which have been fulfilled. She became a professional actress. No small feat when you look at the odds of success. But more than that, Marnie took on the can-do traits exhibited at home and at school and turned them into what she does best, making lemons into lemonade. That entrepreneurial spirit has served her well these last <clears throat> years. Her accomplishments are wide and varied. Acting, yes, in hundreds of productions, but also writing and directing and producing. Ten years for the Hollywood Bowl, and eight years for the Master Chorale. But still higher on this list of goals has been the raising of two sons who love her deeply and a husband who honors and respects and loves her immensely. So here we are back at Minnetonka High School with only four words that need be said. Marnie, you are fabulous. Well, I am truly delighted to be here today. Because while I can't tell you my whole life story, I promise, I can tell you one piece of it that has always been very important to me, and that's growing up in Minnesota and learning about Minnesota nice. Now, a lot of people from outside of the state might think that Minnesota nice is kind of this set of rules about being polite and uh, kind of a surface politeness and uh, kindness, you know, the kind of thing with the air kisses and so forth. No, that's not my form of Minnesota nice. My Minnesota nice that I learned goes much deeper than that. In my um, household, we would sit around the dinner table discussing passionately, and sometimes we would uh, put our elbows on the table or we'd open our mouths too wide or <gasps> horror of horrors get up from the table without asking permission drove my mother crazy. She would always say, if we don't insist on the proper manners, how will our kids know how to dine with the queen? <laughs> uh, she had high hopes for us. So they taught us, though, that beyond knowing the mere rules, if we remembered to be generous, considerate, and took the time to walk in the other guy's Minnetonka moccasins, we, um, we would always be able to dine with almost anyone, even when the rules, so to speak, weren't that clear. So I never really did dine with the queen, although I've dined with some people who thought they were. And um, my Minnesota nice has stood me in pretty good stead almost all over, where, all over the world, wherever I've gone. And so I'm most proud, I think, though, that my family, despite their gentle ribbing of my Minnesota can-do optimism, have taken those same values and traveled all around the world into unusual and sometimes dangerous places and done it successfully. So thank you all so much for showing me friendship and generosity, even when sometimes it wasn't terribly deserved and letting me take that deep and demonstrate it in my life as I've tried to do. I always say, I'm Marnie Moseman from Minnetonka, Minnesota. <laughs> and that Minnesota piece is something that's a very important center. Thank you so much.